Hey guys, Forex Capital here. Let's take a look and see what XLM is doing today. So, this is still looking bullish, but definitely now definitely I do want to see a break about the 78% retracement right here. So, just looking at the daily chart here, I mean, this does look like a inverted head and shoulder, which is pretty bullish. Now, I did buy some yesterday. I didn't buy very much, so only about 5,000 bucks worth of uh, XLM, but I bought a little bit um, right now. Now we're starting to take a deep uh, pullback. Uh, we'll have to wait and see where this closes. Now I'm going to start getting concerned if we break below the 61% retracement. If we break below this, then definitely I'm going to be getting out cutting my losses short and then uh, move on to the next trade uh, definitely you don't want to be in one of those trades to where um, you're hoping you're in the hope system praying to the gods of trading telling them if I break even then uh, I promise I will I won't do it again so we don't want to be in that hope system but as long as we can stay above the 20 day moving average I mean the 50% retracement ultimately here's your 200 day moving average um, so you're gonna have a lot of support right here because you have the 61% and then you're gonna have the 200 day moving average which is the 50% retracement too um, so as long as we can stay below, above all that then we're good now it also depends we can't just stay above all this and wait two months and then this whole pattern will be invalidated so what I do want to see with for XLM is a break higher in a holding on a nice bullish candle of the 78% retracement. Uh, perhaps on the following day, you know, move to this, uh, then have a little bit of pullback in the break higher. And then this uh, pattern will be good. And then, you know, our next target will be anywhere between 12 to 13 cents. Um, and then if we break higher than that, if we have a pullback and then break about the 20% retracement, then we're going to start getting pretty bullish. But before we get all excited on how much money we can make there, we definitely want to wait until we get there. Uh, that's one of the rules of trading. Uh, you got to think of how much money you can lose. Then that's how you set up your risk to reward. So I did, like I said, I did buy a little bit um, yesterday. Uh, if we break above below the 61% retracement, I'll start getting concerned and then I'll probably gonna start uh, thinking about ejecting uh, soon. Definitely, if here's gonna be my, my main stop, will be the 200 day moving average, which will come uh, depends on the day when this happens, but anywhere between six to five cents. If you guys like that video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks again, guys.